Hi, I'm John Wallace, and I'm here to talk about digital TV. Many people ask, what is the TV? Well, it's digital television. You can pay for it via cable or satellite, or you can get it free directly from broadcast TV stations. A few years ago, when I was anchoring the local news, over-the-air viewers could only get maybe seven or eight channels. Well, now that broadcast TV stations are digital, there are more channels than ever. Over 45 free channels now in Fresno, and more are coming soon. Gone are the days of snowy and ghosting images. With broadcast DTV, all channels are crystal clear and they sound great. You can watch America's best classic TV shows. Get all the major networks, plus local and world news, sports, foreign language, shopping, music video, and movie channels absolutely free. When it comes to high definition, broadcast HD channels look better than paid TV services because broadcast stations don't compress their signals like cable and satellite, so their HD programming has higher resolution, more detail, and crisper pictures. Best of all, there are no monthly charges, ever, because broadcast DTV is a free service. How do you get the free broadcast DTV? Well, it's simple. If you have a newer digital TV or an older TV with a digital converter box, all you need is an antenna. Plug the antenna into your TV or converter box and then scan for channels. You may have to rotate your antenna just slightly to get the most channels. For best results, I recommend using a new aesthetically pleasing outdoor antenna. Just set up the antenna, scan, and watch. Affordable antenna kits are available as low as $35 and can be found on our website. You concerned about installing a new antenna? We can recommend a professional installer who will come to your home and get you completely set up for a reasonable fee. It's that simple. Visit freetvfresno.com to learn more about free DTV. And here goes. Some shows force you to laugh. Good, 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 good. But with Mary Tyler Moore, laughter comes easily. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore, more laughs and more, more. The more the merrier. It'll tickle your funny bone. <laughs> Would you like to borrow a feather? Weeknights at 9, 8 Central on MeTV. That's all, folks. Hello, I'm John Malos. On the program today, one of the greatest childhood actors of all time. His name is Lee Aker. You remember him from the early 50s and the early 60s on Rin Tin Tin. He is our guest today, Lee Aker on Connect With Me. I'm John Malos. We'll be back in just a moment. Spotlight on Entertainment is on this day, and I mentioned Lee Aker being a childhood actor. You all remember him from Rin Tin Tin, but he started his career at the age of eight. He was a mere eight years old when he starred in The Greatest Show on Earth. Also, he had a role in High Noon. Remember that? Gary Cooper. That was a long time ago, back in the 50s. He starred in, or actually was in, 30 feature films in all in his career. But he is most known, most well known for playing in Rin Tin Tin. He is in our studio now. His name is Lee Aker. He played Rusty on Rin Tin Tin. It uh, aired on ABC from 1954 to 1959, again on CBS from 61 to 67, and then you watched it on the Disney Channel from 1980 to 87. We're going to be back with our conversation here on Connect With Me with Lee Aker. He played Rusty on Rin Tin Tin. Hey, he also played alongside the Duke, John Wayne. We'll ask him about that. We've got some photos and souvenirs. A great show is on tap in just a moment. Stay tuned. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. 
at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Fall for me, me TV. This fall on me TV, Remington Steel. It's definitely an emergency. Oh yeah, also emergency. Please stay with me. And more familiar faces. You act like I've never been on television before. Me TV continues to deliver the shows you remember. I remember. And you may discover shows you've never seen before. Is that a threat? Fall for me, me TV. <laughs> for a complete schedule, go to metvnetwork.com. And welcome back to Connect With Me. I mentioned we have Lee Aker on the program today, one of the great childhood actors of all time. He played alongside John Wayne, Gary Cooper. Do you guys recognize any of those names? You people that watch me TV on a day in, day out basis should know who John Wayne is, should know who Gary Cooper is. You know all these actors, all these television shows that you watch on a day in, day out basis. Behind me here, we got the billboards, but Lee Aker is best known, I think, for playing Rusty on Rin Tin Tin. Lee Aker, good to have you on the program. My pleasure. Boy, this is neat. Oh, you like the set? You like all the I love programs? It. Well, I love it. There's more TVs going on here. You know, <laughs> I love it. And you got my favorite show of all time, Hogan's Heroes. Oh, Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> I know nothing, I see nothing, huh? You like that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Where are you living now, Lee? I live in Mammoth Mountain, which is right over the other side of the hill here, and I've been retired for almost 20 years. Actors don't retire. Didn't someone tell you that? <laughs> well, I retired when I was 18. I did not like the Hollywood scene. How come? Why? I'm a very private person. Okay. And I got so famous that I couldn't leave the house. You know, you see all these paparazzi and everything going on now. It wasn't as bad back then. But other kids, I'd go out to, you know, on a date or I'd go to, you know, a football game or something and I end up signing autographs, which comes with the territory. I didn't mind it. Right. It was okay. But when I turned 18, I said, that's it. I'm not. I was in Bye Bye Birdie. Uh -huh. Explain my, that to our viewers. Bye Bye Birdie. Well, Bye Bye Birdie, it was, uh, <laughs> what was that about? Oh, it's, just, it's the story of Elvis getting drafted. Mm -hmm. and being sent overseas and all the girls going crazy and I was there with Bobby Rydell and Ann Margaret. And I've seen the movie, I know, I've yeah. seen it. You know they go, Con we right. hate you Conrad, <laughs> oh yes we do, we love you, and then the girls come in, we love you Conrad. Right. And then but I, you were a big star in your days. Oh yes, and you know, I got in pictures, my mother got me in, and I got, you know, for some, I guess the moxie or ballsy, whatever you want to call it. You know, I could just talk and be friendly, and I had a low voice. And How'd I, you get into Hollywood to begin with? My mother owned a dancing school, and my brother and I had a song and dance act, and we, were, and we used to go around to these amateur shows doing song and dance acts. We were six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. And I ended up on KTLA Channel 5, which was one of the first stations there. We had a live TV show we did on Saturday night, about 15 of us kids. And it was just, we had little plays and things every week. Someone noticed you. Yes, they did. Who was that someone? Fred Zinnerman. Okay. Who turned out very big director for the worlds and, uh, you know. And then he saw me and wanted me. 1952, he was directing a documentary called Benji, and I played the lead character, and it won the Academy Award for the best documentary of the year. I don't think anyone's ever seen it, but it's, you know, it's, it's there. Somebody has seen it. <laughs> yes. And so, and then I got started getting known around Hollywood, and I made a few TV shows, and the, and the, but the half-hour TV show that we did every week was live TV. And as you guess, live TV is a lot different than movies and TVs because it's got to be right. Right. You know, and you but don't... But you didn't like being recognized on the street? That came later on when I got to the point where the fame was overwhelming. How old were you at the time? I'm going to say 14, 15, adolescent puberty, started dating, got my driver's license going out and wanted to be... Most people would love that lifestyle. You know, you think of the, the <laughs> young people today that are in the spotlight, I think a Justin Bieber. Would it be equivalent to, say, a Justin Bieber? Mm-hmm. Or more, more so? No. Uh, well, it's so much more because you have the Internet and you have all these. Yeah. Okay, put it in perspective. Rin Tin Tin Show, like now, 
what these shows go on and they draw eight million, nine million, they're get they're happy to get right. it. In nineteen fifty four we drew an average of ten million T V sets a week. How much money did you make? Can I ask you that? <laughs> it's a little different than it is now. <laughs> Started out I got two fifty an episode. You mean two hundred and fifty dollars? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Gosh, that's peanuts. That, well, but that's the way it was. Yeah. And second year, I got 300 an episode. Third year, I got 350. Fourth year, 450. And the last year, I got 500 per episode. Now, people always ask me about residuals. Back then, it wasn't like now you get foreign releases. And listen, Do you get any now, residuals? The last one I got, I got $1.84 from Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, you get into the acting in L.A., KTLA, and then along comes, what, The Greatest Show on Earth and High Noon with Gary Cooper. How yeah. did that happen? Uh, Fred Zinnerman, who directed Benji. Correct. You know, just talking with him, I said, if you get another movie, give me a call. So he, I got, right. he called, and I guess he talked to my mom and said, I got a walk-on. And I had a walk-on of shoom, shoom. But, what know. was Gary Cooper like? <laughs> Tall. Yeah, besides that. <laughs> was he a quiet man? You know, I don't remember. A lot of people want to know about John Wayne. Right. That's the big, you know. Right. And I, but I want to know about Gary okay, Cooper because I love that movie, High Noon. I liked Grace Kelly. She was really nice. Yeah, well, yeah. Grace Kelly was good, Grace too. Grace Kelly, very nice. She, she had this great smile, I remember. And we talked a couple because she had asked me about some pictures that I had made, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You know. Was Gary Cooper, uh, did he act like a star? No. He didn't? No, but but I wouldn't know what a star acted like. Yeah. You know, yeah. to me it was just like going to school or going to a play, or you know, because I was used to being around Hollywood and, uh, you know. I want to turn you around because you're best known for playing Rusty in right. Rin Tin Tin. We're going to take a sneak peek, take uh -oh. a look behind you there, Lee, and take a sneak peek at Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> That was Rin Tin Tin. That was a television show that aired on ABC, CBS, and, of course, uh, the Disney Channel. You were rusty on Rin Tin Tin. We saw you at the end there. You were just a small boy. That was like 1954. We're going to talk to you about that. When we come back, we got to take a commercial break. Rin Tin Tin, one of the big stars of that show, is with us today on Connect With Me. Stay tuned. Back in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99, and this heavy duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Welcome back. We are here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, and my pleasure today to talk to Lee Aker. He played Rusty on Rin Tin Tin. What a great program it was on ABC, on CBS back in the 50s and 60s, and later on it appeared on the Disney Channel. We saw a clip just a few minutes ago, Lee, with you appearing there at the end there, a small boy. What was this show about? Uh, Rusty and Rennie were in the wagon train coming east to west coast, and through Arizona territory, they were attacked by Indian renegades. And the cavalry found Rennie and I in a burnt out wagon and adopted us to come to live with the Fort Apache. And as you notice on that clip, it showed that's a trivia question I could ask. What was Rusty's last name? I don't know. B Company. Okay. Because that's what he was in B Company. All right. Now All you know right. some trivia. And it's in uh, crossword puzzles once in a while in New York. Do you have any souvenirs from the show, like a uniform that you wore or anything of that nature? I don't have any of the uniforms left, but I have some photos and I, I have know. some comic I, books. You brought some, and I want to show a book. I want to hold this up. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. And I'm kind of trying to tilt it down as much as I can so we don't get the reflection. Explain what we're looking at there. What is that, Lee? Well, that's just Rennie and myself. 
and okay. Rinny is the dog, right? <laughs> Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin. And is a lot the dog. of people don't realize Rin Tin Tin. He came from France in World War One. Okay. Lee Duncan, who was the pilot for the 181st Aero Squadron, was over there in World War One. Found two German shepherds in a bombed-out crater, and the French had two uh, good, good luck charms: Ron Tan Tan and Nanette. Right. So he named the dogs Rin Tin Tin and Nanette, and that's why. Well, Rinty, they're Rinty. Rin -ti. Yeah, Ron Tan Tan. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's another one. A book. What are we looking at there? That. Now, how many dogs did did you use during the program? We used three dogs. Now you can see the difference in color from the dogs. Same bloodline. Right. But you I'm going to hold the other one up too. I'm going to put this one down. I'll hold this one up too. Here's another souvenir. Uh, brought in by Lee Aker. Look at that. Now, who is that? Now, you are the small boy in this picture, right? I was right? the boy, Rin there. Tin Tin. And who's the man? Uh, James Brown, James Brown, mm -hmm. who passed away to you about 10 or 12 years ago now. He played Lieutenant Rip Masters. And, uh, you know, he went on to do quite a few shows after that. And he uh, started, he was a college all-star for Baylor University, a tennis pitcher or tennis star, right. and his good looks, and he got into Hollywood and came out. And right, right. Did you like that show? Playing on that show, Rin Tin Tin. You know, I I liked it. It was fun, but like I mentioned, I did not like leaving the studio. Right, because you were mobbed. Yes, and, and you know, that sounds kind of crummy and kind of, but that's, you know, that's what people want and that's what you're there for how many years were you on that show i was on the five years 144 episodes yeah 144 and you made 30 feature films but you're <laughs> best known for rin tin tin are you not yes oh yes definitely yeah that's really kind of what made your career made my career but preceding that and you know like in hollywood was ziv playhouse uh Four Star Playhouse, uh, Screen Directors Playhouse, Loretta Young Show. You know, all these TV shows were going, they're all black and white then. And I'd see, right. those were TV shows. And I Now, made, if, if, if people now, they watch the American Movie Channel, which I watch quite a bit, I see John Wayne playing in Hondo. In 1953, this man right here, <laughs> all right, Lee Aker, co-starred with John Wayne in Hondo. You know who John Wayne is? Let me show this picture. I'm going to try to put it up as close as I can. That's John Wayne throwing you into the river. Is that right? <laughs> That's it. That Look was, that. Uh, we were about, oh, below Chihuahua. Chihuahua, Mexico, and that's a little creek. And I told John Wayne, I don't know how to swim. He said, what? <laughs> so he picked me up like a rag doll and threw me about 30 feet. <laughs> Amazing. So you went into the water, you learned how to swim. How deep was that water? Oh, it was pretty deep. That's a little creek. Chihuahua, Mexico. All right, another photo I'm going to show from the movie Hondo. John Wayne and Lee Aker. You're the small boy there. There's John Wayne, Hondo, of course, the Duke. And the young lady is? Geraldine Page, who came out from the stage in New York City. It's a, and there's the first movie she made, and she was nominated for Academy Award for this picture. Amazing. All right, tell me a John Wayne story. What was John Wayne like, John, really? John Wayne, I knew it. You walked on, now, I, not in derogatory terms, you knew who was in charge. You know, he owned the company, and he ran, you know, there was a direct... Did he run with an iron fist? No. Okay. No, no, no. He always always opened suggestions, and he was very nice, and he just, you know, he'd just sit down. But it's, it's like people was ask... He an, was he a sincere guy? Was he a touchy-feely guy? Or was he kind of like, I'm the star? No, not okay. at all. Okay. He presented himself very professionally, but he was in charge, and he knew it, and he was very nice to me, you know. Yeah. He I liked know, you? Oh, I guess. Yeah, you got along with him. <laughs> I got along. I remember two weeks in the middle of filming, I was off because they were doing a lot of the fight, you know, the big thousands of Indians. Oh, and doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got the tour. I'm, you know, 11, 9 years old, touring Mexico <laughs> down there. And he had a chauffeur with a big black Cadillac limousine. And so he toured me all around western northern Mexico. Is that right? Yes, that was fun. Well, what year was that? 19, summer of 1953. Okay, okay. That's uh, Now, the movie came out then, but then, but then it was, was it filmed the year before or right around 1953? Uh, right around in the summer. I could be wrong on my years. It okay. could, could be 52. Okay. But I know it was all shot in 3D. 
Yeah, amazing. Which, which at that time was very unusual. And the huge, big cameras and all the lighting for all the color. Right. But they said we went to Mexico. If you ever get to see the movie, you know, it plays all the time. Look it at, plays look at the all skies. the time on the American movie uh, classics, the network. Look at the skies. And that's why we went to Mexico, for the monsoon rains and the cloud formations that they have. And that's why they went to Mexico. Did to John film. Wayne choose where the movie was shot? I'm going to say yes, but I don't know it was him. I'm, I'm sure it was, you know, uh, you know, his You're crew. not sure. Yeah, no. that's okay. All right. We are talking to Lee Aker. Got a couple of more souvenirs to show you and maybe talk more about John Wayne. Back with uh, more here on Connect With Me in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency Cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool Cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. From the pages of history and the untamed prairies of a young nation comes one of television's and America's most memorable folk heroes. was a man, just a big man. Well, you're Daniel Boone. Yep. Fast Parker stars as the legendary Daniel Boone with Ed Ames as his trusty sidekick, Mingo. Pleasure indeed. A Kentuckian named Daniel Boone. That's me. Watch Daniel Boone weekday mornings at 9, 8 central on MeTV. Back here with Lee Aker, he was one of the stars of Rin Tin Tin. He played Rusty when he was just a young boy. He was a teenager. Big hit on that show, of course, uh, in the 50s and 60s. And later on, it appeared and reran on the Disney Channel. Many of you saw it. And, you know, are you recognizable today, Lee, or is that kind of gone by the wayside? Mainly if someone happens to see my name at work, I'm going to throw a plug in for where I work now. Go ahead. Disabled Sports, Eastern Sierra at Mammoth Mountain, and I work with underprivileged kids. Okay, that's what you do now. That's what I do you now. Do, what do you do with underprivileged kids? Do you we teach, teach them, them how to ski? Ski. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You're a ski instructor. Right. All right. How many years have you been skiing? I started in 1957. Okay, so you're an expert skier. <laughs> yes. Wow. That's not why as you're... good as I think I am. You know, that's that goes with the territory. Would it be? Would it be taboo of me to ask you your age? 68. Okay, great. So you've been, you've been at this for a long time. Oh, yeah. I retired from construction. I worked construction for 20 years, and I've been retired since 1990. Yeah, you're in good shape then. If you know how to ski, I mean, it's, uh, that's a hard sport. Yes, it is, but it's, uh, it's something I really enjoy doing, and, uh, you know, I get the opportunity to do it. And every day you get, I say, I get to go to work today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to. I get no, to. No, you get to because you have the opportunity yes. to and you want to. And it's all because of... Because of the acting. The acting was part of it. Right. And the good genes, that had a lot to do with it. Right. I want to show another picture of Hondo, John Wayne. I know that's a little bright, maybe a little small. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, you know, what, what picture are we looking at here? Uh, can you see that? That's where John Wayne first comes up to her ranch house and he's lost his horse and he's up there asking her if he can borrow a horse okay and that's uh on videotape and you know dc or whatever they have all know. right we got a mug here that says hondo lee from duke i'm gonna <laughs> hold that up too so you can kind of see that i won't drop it and uh, explain <laughs> explain how you got this mug here okay after john wayne uh became very very popular and famous he started making his own black blackjack company, started producing his own films. All the stars and lead cast and crew were given these mugs after the filming. And I've kept this. It's one of the few things I have, and Don Boy. John Wayne gave that to yeah, me. Yeah, this dates back to the 50s. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just absolutely tremendous. Do you miss acting? <laughs> no. You don't? No. Uh, you, you don't know, miss the bright lights? No. Uh, well, I've been, I've been away from it so long, and I enjoy my life. I enjoy what I... And people see me now, and they look at me, and they kind of look at me, and they know they know me. 
but they don't you know it's been 50 years yeah they and don't know from where <laughs> <laughs> another movie i was in was on just the other night what was it i can't remember oh well American movie classics had yeah, to be. Yeah, you know, it was Oh Henry's Full House. Oh, okay. And that was uh, Fred As Fred Allen, Oscar Levant, that I right. made, and Howard Hawks directed that, and I got billing above Marilyn Monroe in that feature, <laughs> and I was nine years old. <laughs> Go figure. How did that happen? I, alphabetical order. <laughs> okay, all right. Who's who would you think is? in your mind thinking back i know it's a long time ago but what actor did you enjoy working with the most working with the most had to be john wayne yeah i was i was gonna say yeah and uh chill wills character actor he was very nice very funny and he did the voice for francis the talking mule the mule and that was movies he was great but my heroes were baseball players and, you know, I got to meet Mickey Mantle and Ted Williams and do, do shows for them and personal appearances. Those were my idols, and that's what I, and Ted Williams, he come up and he's, you know, he says, would you do a, a cancer research show for me? And when I'm looking at Ted Williams, who is my idol, yeah. you know, Boston Red, Red Sox, and it was, you know, it's another wonderful man. Marjorie yeah. Maine, another character actor, was mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, Lee, I hope you come back sometime. It was great talking to you about your career. Great seeing you. I used to watch Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> I used to watch you all the time, and you didn't even know it. <laughs> no, but, I, but I, I was looking for it. <laughs> I know, I know. It's great to have you here. Thank you. I it appreciate really is it. my pleasure meeting you. I enjoy doing shows like this now. Thank you. Thank you. And come back again soon. Thank you very much. All right. Lee Aker from Rin Tin Tin, a great guy. Thanks for watching Connect With Me. See you back here tomorrow. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Hi, I'm John Wallace, and I'm here to talk about digital TV. Many people ask, what is the TV? Well, it's digital television. You can pay for it via cable or satellite, or you can get it free directly from broadcast TV stations. A few years ago, when I was anchoring the local news, over-the-air viewers could only get maybe seven or eight channels. Well, now that broadcast TV stations are digital, there are more channels than ever. Over 45 free channels now in Fresno, and more are coming soon. Gone are the days of snowy and ghosting images. With broadcast DTV, all channels are crystal clear, and they sound great. You can watch America's best classic TV shows. Get all the major networks, plus local and world news, sports, foreign language, shopping, music video, and movie channels absolutely free. When it comes to high definition, broadcast HD channels look better than paid TV services because broadcast stations don't compress their signals like cable and satellite, so their HD programming has higher resolution, more detail, and crisper pictures. Best of all, there are no monthly charges ever because broadcast DTV is a free service. How do you get the free broadcast DTV? Well, it's simple. If you have a newer digital TV or an older TV with a digital converter box, all you need is an antenna. Plug the antenna into your TV or converter box and then scan for channels. You may have to rotate your antenna just slightly to get the most channels. For best results, I recommend using a new aesthetically pleasing outdoor antenna. Just set up the antenna, scan, and watch. Affordable antenna kits are available as low as $35 and can be found on our website. You concerned about installing a new antenna? 
we can recommend a professional installer who will come to your home and get you completely set up for a reasonable fee. It's that simple. Visit FreeTVFresno.com to learn more about free DTV.